Welcome back to my channel, Math and Language, and we're going to discuss how to add dissimilar fractions. So, bago tayo mag-start, ano bang ibig sabihin ng dissimilar fractions? Ito yung mga fractions na iba yung denominator nila. So, mapapansin mo, dun sa una nating fraction, 2 yung denominator, at yung sa pangalawa, that will be 5. So, dissimilar sila. Um, remember, pag similar fraction, si add mo lang yung numerator. Tapos ka copy paste mo lang yung denominator. But dahil dissimilar sila, we have to uh, do another technique para sila mag-add. So usually, ang ang tuturo ko sa inyo yung butterfly method. So this one, butterfly method. Butterfly method. Uh, the first thing you will do, at yung step one, parang cross multiply lang. 1 times 5, that will be 5, diba? Tapos, next one, 2 times 2, tapos plus, kasi plus yung ginagamit natin dito, 4. Over mo siya na, and lastly, we have this one. 2 times 5, that will be 10. At sagutan mo lang siya, 5 plus 4, that will be 9. At copy mo lang yung denominator, that will be 10. And there you have it. So the answer for 1 half plus 2 fifth is 9 over 10. Ganun lang siya kasimple. Now, of course, just check mo din kung lowest term na siya. But as you can see, lowest term naman din siya. Okay? Let's have another example. Paano kapag ang, let's say we have 3 fourth. So plus natin siya ng, let's say 1 third. So, it's equal sign. So, butterfly method tayo. Let's do the butterfly method. 3 times 3, that will be 9. And copy mo lang operations. Operation. Uh, 1 times 4, that will be 4. And sa denominator natin, that will be 4 times 3. That will be 12. Now, sagot natin, 9 plus 4 is 13. Over mo ng 12. Now, uh, depende sa teacher mo, mostly kasi mga teacher natin, gusto niya, gusto niya naka-mix number pag improper fraction. Improper fraction kapag mas mataas yung numerator or equal siya sa denominator. So this will be um, 13, divide mo ng 12, will be 1. So minus natin, remainder 1. So, ang final answer is 1 and 1, 12 quotient, that will be the whole number. Yung remainder natin, that will be the numerator. And uh, lastly, the divisor will be the denominator. In lang. Okay. So, let's have the last example. Paano kapag ang tanong ay ganto? Let's see. 4 over 7. A plus natin ng 5, 6. Okay. So, let's do the butterfly method. 4 times 6 is 24. 5 times 7 is 35. And 7 times 6 is 24 plus 35. That will be 59. Yes, 59. Okay. After uh, copying the denominator, that will be 42. And Wala na. Lowest term ito. Kasi 59 is a prime number. If I'm not mistaken. Yes. Prime number siya. So, wala na siya. This is already the final answer to this question. Okay. And that's the end of the lesson on how to add the similar fractions. And maybe sa next lesson natin, how to subtract the similar fractions. Again, this is James, your math and language instructor. If you have any questions or in need of clarifications, comment no question, clarification, suggestion, comment down. And I will really appreciate kung mag like and subscribe kayo. Malapit na mag 10K. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next video. video. Salamat po!